Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 4.5D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 33 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause the video, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a rug. It is shaped like a rectangle. So we can just draw ourselves a rectangle here. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's a rug or if it's a painting or anything. We just need to know it is a rectangle because that is a shape that we know how to find the perimeter of. It has a width of three. So we're going to call this our width right here. And the length of the rug is two meters greater. So the length is our going to be our width. And it's going to be greater. So we'll probably just say that's going to be a two right there. So the length is going to be greater. And so what we have here is we've got our length up here. So we can really just substitute this three in right there. And most of us could probably do this in our head, but this is actually algebra here. We're using, we're using some variables and unknowns because that's what they gave us. They said our length is our width and then two greater than that. So we've got three meters plus two meters, and that's, well, that's going to be pretty easy. That's going to be our five meters. So now we have our length and our width, and so that's going to help us get our perimeter. Now, remember, our perimeter is the outside. When I think of the word perimeter, I think of the rim, like a basketball rim, right? And it's got the metal on the outside. It doesn't have anything on the inside. We're looking for the outside. So that's my version of a basketball hoop right there, and we've got that rim. The area is on the inside. So if we were looking for area, that would be how much space is on the inside. But we don't really want the area. So we're looking for the perimeter. And the perimeter of a rectangle, put a little P with a little tiny R that means the perimeter of a rectangle, just because the perimeter of a square is found a little bit differently. It's going to be double the length plus double the width. And so we're going to take our length and our width, and we're just going to substitute them in there. So we're going to say 2, and our length is 5 up here. So what we do, we don't put 2, 5 next to each other. That looks 25. It looks like 25. We just put a 2, and then parentheses, and this means multiplication. So that's something we start seeing a little bit in fourth grade, is when we see 2 outside of a parentheses, or any number outside of a parentheses, that means multiply. And then we're going to double the width, so 2, and then we're going to put 3 right inside there. So 2, and then a 3. Now, we're going to get into order of operations a little bit more in 5th grade. But what we do is we multiply first, then we add. So let's multiply. So 2 times 5, that's going to be 10. 2 times 3, that's going to be 6. Add those together, and you get your 16 meters. Now, you might be thinking, how did we get some of these other numbers? Well, if you were to multiply, remember the area equals 3 times 5, because it's length times width. So that's going to equal 15, and that's where that D came in. If we really didn't find the width, if we just thought it, the length here was 2, if we just did a little rectangle that was 3 and 2, well, guess what that perimeter would be? That perimeter would equal 10. So that's where this incorrect one comes in. And then if you just add the 5 and the 3, if you just did one set of sides rather than both set of sides, that's where your 8 comes in. So all of those are incorrect. Our answer here is B, 16 meters.